let's take a look at getting our sketch to run completely full screen on a mobile browser without this extra stuff and making it completely fit perfectly inside the window. So we're gonna do a couple edits to our code here. And the first is actually gonna take place in a separate file from our P5 code. Uh, so in my P5 web editor, I'm gonna click this little triangle icon that's right below the play button. And that's going to expand out a little file browser, which shows me all of the files that work together to make up my P5.js sketch. Uh, so believe it or not, it's not just this code, it's some other stuff in here that's making everything work properly in the browser. And I wanna click on this index.html. Uh, so this is some HTML code, slightly different way of thinking about code than P5.js, but it's important uh, to be able to show our sketches in the browser to have this code. So we're just gonna add one line of code here and I've got it just in a text file here, let's bring this up uh, so that I can select it and copy it. I'll uh, include this in the description so that you don't have to type it out, but I'm just hitting Command C or Control C on the keyboard. And we're gonna paste this in to our HTML code. So let me just adjust my browser window here so we can see a little bit more clearly. Uh, where I'm looking to place this is important. So you can see we have this uh, head tag here and then down below we have a slash head. So I need to paste this somewhere in between those two tags. And I see a little blank line right here on line eight, just hitting tab a couple times to keep my code nice and tidy. And I'm just pasting that in. So this is gonna give some commands to our mobile browser uh, to make sure that our sketch displays the way that we want it to, which is taking up the full screen uh, and we won't be able to sort of uh, swipe it up or down in ways that we don't actually want to. And I'll make sure I go ahead and click save here from the file menu. Now let's jump back to sketch.js. So we're gonna include some additional JavaScript or P5.js code here uh, so that we can make sure our sketch will go full screen in the correct way. So I can collapse back my file browser here and I've got another set of code that I'm gonna just copy in. Now, as we get uh, through later videos, we'll explain sort of how all this stuff is working, but for now we can just command C or control C and paste into our sketch.js file. And let's get rid of that text file. Now, again, here the placement is important. So I wanna make sure that I'm pasting this outside of any code blocks. So outside the setup block, outside the draw block. So I'll just come here to the end of my sketch, hit command V or control V to paste in my code. So let's make sure I click File, Save, so that I've saved sketch.js and index.html. That's gonna make sure that we get the updated version when I go to my mobile device and refresh the page. So I've got my phone. Let's see, I'll click here, refresh the page. And so uh, the way that this code works is I should be able to tap, or sometimes I'll need to double tap, on the screen to enter full screen mode. So you can see now that uh, the sketch completely takes up the phone window. I don't see the address bar. Uh, I don't see the sort of top info bar. Now, of course, there's no real interaction here within my sketch uh, because I haven't built that into the code, but you can see here, we've got a pretty nice workflow of being able to write our code, make edits on the computer browser, automatically connect it to the web browser and go back and forth for testing.